Welcome back to the morning show on Tobago Updates Television. I am Adana Kambi, and thank you for staying with us. We continue conversations this morning. We speak with Clavia Simpson. She's the first runner-up of Miss Heritage Personality 2024. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. How are you? I am well, thanks, and yourself. <laughs> I am great. Right, and of course, it's a pleasure to be speaking with you this morning. Uh, you are beautiful. I must say that on air to you, you this morning. And of course, congratulations on um, winning first runner-up at Thank Miss Heritage you. Personality 2024. <laughs> We're going to get straight on into the, the conversation. In terms of preparing mm -hmm. for the Heritage Personality, yeah. um, I know a lot of people think that um, you could just go up for a, a, what they call a queen show, oh, yeah. right? But I know that a lot of practice goes into it. It takes a lot of hard work behind the scenes, mm -hmm. um, getting your fittings, doing your talent, mm -hmm. um, preparing yourself to answer questions, yeah. Facing an audience, some people just cannot stand in front of an audience. Yeah, what was it like for you in terms of getting yourself ready? In fact, mm -hmm. not even getting yourself ready, but decision yeah. to participate in the events. Well, actually, I have been looking at the Queen shows since I was small. So I had that idea that as soon as I turned 18 that I would want to go up. And luckily this year, they had an amazing committee and festivals for the Queen show. And I have an amazing support group. So everyone at Rhythmic, they were ready to take me in. Shout out to Miss Danielle, Auntie Kami, Auntie Molly, Akiwai, my mommy. They were my core team. And they took care of me and they ensured that no matter what, I was calm, I was ready, I was set. And they took all the stress off of me. So really the key to it is having a great team, mm -hmm. the great committee at festivals, and the amazing queens. It was just an amazing experience overall. And I was just about to ask what the experience was like mm -hmm. um, for you. Because I know in as much as it's a competition and everybody, everybody wants to win, you enter a competition to win. Yeah. And so you go in there. But I know in this type of forum, you make friends, yes. you form relationships, you yes. form bonds. What was it like, you know, with all the other girls there who were competing for the same title that you were competing for? I know that there's usually a notion where queens don't like each other or there's a, a lot of uh, tension between the queens. But this year, oh my gosh, they are my sisters. People probably don't see it from by the cameras. They just see what's on the stage. But these girls, they taught me how to pat my nose when it's running, when I have one makeup, they taught me how to push out a child. They taught me, we just had so much bonding. And I think mm. the committee really focused on that this year. Down to yesterday, we were at yesterday's children having the time of our lives. So that experience, the experience made it so much better because we are genuine friends. All right. So I want to talk about your talents. Yeah. Uh, you won best talents yes. for the competition. Um, what was the... What was the idea in terms of choosing something that you yeah. wanted to depict, that you wanted Tobago people, and not just Tobago people, the, the world at large, to yeah. see and to know about Tobago? Well, the truth is, after seeing so many Queen shows, and it was time for me to do a talent, everybody automatically falls into the mold of, let's do a monologue, let's do a monologue. That's the first thing that comes to people's head when they think about Queen show talents. So I wanted to do something different. So when I came to the committee, I told them, well, how about I sing? Because I'm known for singing. I'm known for all these things. I'm known for dancing. I will sing a song and they ask me, well, what song will you sing that will incorporate and give you that edge? So I said, why don't I create a song? And they know my abilities from the things that I've done from before. And I took the challenge. I sat at home. I spent a night. I wrote by my piano, touching every note to hear a melody that comes to my brain and eventually Sweet Tobago came out. So you're telling me that the melody and everything, the composition of this song was done by you? Yes, it was. Oh, congratulations, <laughs> congratulations, congratulations. And Thank what you. a depiction, of course, mm -hmm. talking about the things of Tobago. You know, sometimes when we go into the Western world or even yeah. from Tobago and we mm -hmm. see the Western world, mm -hmm. we want to adapt all the things that are out there and forget yes. who we are. And that is what my talent was kind of alluding to. Mm -hmm. If you watched it it says it's about a mother pushing a child to go into that western world because i think that people suffer from what i like to call small island syndrome so as soon as people see that you have a talent they are telling you that you need to leave the island which i don't believe in i believe that you need to contribute to something to your island it's fine to go out it's fine to go educate yourself to experience the world but you need to remember where you came from and i feel as if uh, based on what you're saying now i feel as if the investment also needs to be made in the talent that is um on here mm -hmm. because I, I feel i understand also the parent who says if you have a talent go outside yeah, because it's too. easy to get buy-in from outside yes. but i think a conversation can actually stem from this whereas if you see a natural and a raw talent that we could 
start having conversations. How do we invest in this talent? Mm -hmm. How do we make this person a star right here on the greatest little mm -hmm. island on the planet? Mm -hmm. That's what we want to call Tobago. Yes. So, you know, I see where you're going with mm -hmm. that. And, and, you know, really, really kudos to you. Kudos to you. Kudos mm -hmm. to you. Okay. And, of course, you copped another title. Yes. Another title <laughs> at that event. <laughs> Tell us, um, how do you feel knowing that mm -hmm. you won two titles, mm -hmm. Best Talent, which, of course, depicted something that, you know, you fell from your heart mm -hmm. and you were able to, to translate it on stage so that people can understand, relate to it and be like, wow, mm -hmm. I never thought about it in that vein. And of course, you had to use some kind of mental capacity yes. to get that, which is which leads to yes. the other title you won as yes. well. Miss Intelligence. Miss Intelligence, <laughs> you know. So um, tell me, how do you feel knowing that, wow, mm -hmm. you know, I, this is this is so amazing. How, how, yes. how does it make you feel? The truth is, Miss Intelligence, it's not an easy title mm -hmm. to grasp. <laughs> the committee, they did train us. We had a communication workshop. And they gave us a lot of information about the questions that will be coming. And they prepped us, basically. So when it was time for us to go into the screening, the nerves, as always, those things come. But when I sat there, they made me feel comfortable. And I answered the questions to the best of my ability. And, of course, you did quite well, of course, copying that title as well. What's next for you? Well, I recently got accepted into UWE Mona, just in case there are any sponsors out there. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. UWE Mona. Put in the plug. Put in the plug. <laughs> yeah, you can contact me. <laughs> I recently got accepted into UWE Mona. Mm. And since I'm just finishing high school, I think that the best thing for me right now is to focus on that education. So right now, it's just about... Uh, learning, educating myself, building that foundation so that I have something to contribute. Ah, uh, you know, congratulations, of course, your yeah, acceptance there Thank at UWE Mona, and I know you will excel. When you go to Mona, one thing I want to advise you, or mm -hmm. rather encourage you, because I believe you will do it, is carry Tobago with you. Of course. <laughs> carry Tobago with you in the way that you know how, and let the people see the colors, mm -hmm. and the, the vibrancy, and the mm -hmm. textures, and the, you know who we are here in yeah. Tobago. Uh, many, many congratulations to you. I'm very, very proud of you, and I wish you all the best as you continue with your endeavors. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, we speak with Clavia Simpson, first runner-up of Miss Heritage Personality 2024. Thank you so much for staying with us and for going through this conversation with us. Mm -hmm. But we have to go for a short break before we continue conversations in studio. And as we go, would you help me mm -hmm. to tell our viewers, share, share the, the live, live, share the live, share the live. live. We'll be right back. <laughs>